Oh, wow. So one of these will flavor a whole dish. Okay. Um, and the other ones in here, oh, if you can find some. Yeah, there are. They're a little bit pricey, but mild so you can some of the vegetables that you just have a little bit. Break them off with the base like that. There you go. Oh, it's fresh. Yeah, and it's organic. Uh-huh. And these are, as you know, spicy organic and farm. hot. They're really, really good. And it's the green. Um, you can see we have, you know, a little bit of insect bugs in here, but that's good. No, we can wash them. Yeah, a few little bugs. But they're not actually on there. Whatever they were doing, they've that should be good with the mustard. That should be good. That is pretty That should be good. Mustard. Do you want any lettuce for a salad? Yes, please. What yeah, are, so that oh, one, lettuce. actually, you pull the whole plant up, just from the base, and then we'll break off the roots. So you just give it a good tug. There you go. And then I, my hands are dirty, so I'll do the dirty work. And just twist that off. So there is some nice weather. Yes, yeah, two different kinds, red fire and red oak leaf. Yeah, feel free to just grab whichever one you like and then I'll give it a trim. So do you really? But anyway, that, that one's good, that one's good. You've got That's good for that, that. yeah. Uh, watermelon Let's try it. radish. Let's try it. Get, get one. It's yeah, ready? Uh huh. Okay. Let's try one. And that one. There you go. Now you can eat the radish tops, but um, I think we're not gonna eat. Most them, people don't. So what I'm gonna do then is I'll just break that off. There's mm -hmm. your radish, and then I'll put that in the compost. Radish. Oh, we love we love chili. Good. Let's take two. Two, or, two or three. There's one already here. I saw a big one. Oh, those okay. are great. Yeah. <laughs> No. Yeah, we could. Yeah, use that. you could use be... that for soup. Picture's perfect. And that's that one right there. I love that one. A beautiful head of cauliflower. Wow. And with that one. Yeah. I want some kale for my salad. Like this. <laughs> and there it is. The cauliflower. <laughs> Thank you. Uh huh. So that was fun. Got to do some acting. <laughs> yeah. Um, so really I'm nice. I'm going to blog it. <laughs> Are you familiar with this type of kale? It's a really nice kale. It's, mm -hmm. although it looks a little bit coarse, you can even chop it up and put it in salads yeah. or cook it. Um, mm -hmm. Anyway, it's nice. Some of them have purple stems. I like this stems. one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So for that. You're going to make me some salad tonight, Beth. Yeah, this is nice in a salad. What you do is you chop out the stem, but just the, the rest of it is really good in the salad. About like that? Yes. Okay. Red stemmed. Lettuce and kale. Mm -hmm. Super healthy. Yeah. It's black on the outside uh -huh. and white on the inside. Oh, okay. And then and I just pull them? Uh-huh. And the same sort of thing where I can kind of trim it up. Black radish. Yeah. Isn't that cool? You don't see that at the grocery store. Um, in there, I see, I think those are beets. Mm. We have another spot where we have beets. But let me see, and this is arugula. Mm. Arugula. Oh, that was charred. They're good in a salad or just to put in a beverage to get really good. Mm -hmm. What are you yeah, eating? Taste, they're good. The flour? Huh? Yeah, it Can tastes see? like cucumber. Huh? It's called borage and it tastes like sweet cucumber. Do you eat it? Yes. Let me see you eat it. Yeah. I already had one. You can well, have another one because there's more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, borage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, so if you want to get some of those. You want to try it? Um, no, I'm good. Yeah, so there's one, another plant right mm -hmm. next to you where you're welcome to grab one and try it if you like it. And then this one, the petals. People eat these too. This is the calendula. Oh, okay, all right, I'll try it. <laughs> it, it's just a, my I'll try it. it. Look at the whole big thing. And that. <laughs> I don't need this.
You don't like onion? No. No? I don't know about She's this. She's not too sure about that She one. already told you. It's pretty no. sweet. It's like the pea. It tastes pretty good. You try. I yeah. tried the rest. No, I'll take one you petal. You be brave. Okay. Uh -huh. Take one petal. Yeah, so one thing is you never want to eat the flowering sweet peas, the flowers. Mm -hmm. for, it's amazing. Those are toxic. But if you're growing the flowers on the edible peas, mm -hmm. then they're fine. Okay. Yeah. It's good. It's good? Yeah, it tastes better than the, the purple. <laughs> for me, for me, for me. Yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of sweet. sweet. It's they're sweet. It's sweet. sweeter than that one. Okay, let me try it. Yeah. Then under here. It is sweet. Yeah, I told you. We don't have asparagus coming though. When is that coming? Um, well, when you were here around Mother's Day, probably around April. Um, and like that will also be around April and May when we get the strawberries. But that'll form a big, it's really good, really tasty. Here are some more different types of mustards. These are mustards. This is red lace mustard. Mm -hmm. That's the one more, they put in salad, huh? leafy, and then this one here is called Japanese Red Giant Mustard. Wow. So, you're welcome to get some of those. And that's more kale, right? Um, that's more kale. This is cilantro. And that's the cilantro you're probably, you know, most familiar with. There's a whole bunch of it growing along in there. And then, see some... you see that pink thing? Yeah. That's called, it's another type of dip. Oops. Hang on, you put there you go. Oh, that's Purple nice. Top. <laughs> it's organic. It's mm -hmm. all right. Yep. We see. We still have some Brussels spot at home, though. Mm. We're good. We're good. We just want to see it. Yeah. Yeah. We still got some at home. Okay. It's still on the fridge. This is another type of kale. This is green curly kale, and then this is a really bitter one. Really bitter. If you like bitter. All because of the it's the dandelion. Red storm. It's dandelion. Is that the dandelion. It's called red stem Italian dandelion. Uh -huh. And it's, I mean, I like it, but not everybody does because it's got a bitter flavor. I don't Would like you, bitter. You don't like yeah. bitter? Yeah. For me, I like it, but some people don't. Yeah. Okay. Um, they make tea out of that. Yes. Right? Uh huh. Yeah. It's really good for your liver. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. really oh, good. really? Which one? The if dandelion? dandelion? If you're going to be drinking beer, you want to have some dandelion. Uh, it's it's a, awesome. It's really wow. lemony. Just the smell of it is oh, really uh it's like perfume. Right? It's, it's mm -hmm. amazing. So, so what is this what is what you do with this? You could use it in tea or use it in just dice it up for flavor in a dressing or a marinade or oh, wow. a little bit in the rice if you cook rice. And it oh, just gives it an amazing good. perfume. Try it with rice? Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, it's great in rice. Okay, let's try it. And that's probably that'll be plenty. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. That's good. Okay, lemon. Lemon. I, I think we're good. Okay, think we're good. and then you wanted to get some fruit. And maybe a couple of uh, lime. Sure. A couple of lime. Okay. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. Let's go.
berry that fruits in the fall called autumn berry. Down this way are filberts and figs. But now we're getting into cherries and nectarines, pears and peaches. Um, persimmons, avocados. Oh, I love to get some fresh avocados. That'll be, and I've, I've got you the calendar. Okay. So I think this will be the first year that we're, it's just getting ready to flower. Yeah. Avocado? Avocado. Oh, we'll come back for that for sure. That's if my favorite. Ripens, oh, that'll be, it says it's in midsummer, so around August. August. Okay. Try it. So here's, yeah, here's the calendar yeah, that says when different things Is ripen. In and um, Thai cooking. Mm. You use the leaves and you use it as a flavoring. Mm. But the lemon verbena is even better. And oh, coming soon will be some watermelon, not watermelon, um, grapefruit. Grapefruit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then this is the one though that's these are ripe. These are Persian limes. Okay. So they're really beautiful. They're green and juicy. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's when we're gonna nice get fresh and lime. That's the one we got. We want that. Get, get a couple, yeah. They're awesome. Fresh and lime, and they're just perfectly ripe right now. So you know your your limes are ripe when they just are. They just still got some green, but a little bit of yellow, and then they'll be really juicy. On the inside. So two of those. Yes. Yeah, just two of those. Okay, and then next to that, the next tree over is a lemon tree, a Meyer lemon. Oh, we have those. We have Meyer lemon. Okay. Right. I mean, that's it as what's far as what's end? right. But you can just, we can just walk down here yeah. so I'll show you. So each of the trees has a little sign. So mm -hmm. that's going to be blooming soon. That's a nectarine. It's nectarine. Is it nectarine? Yes, this. See? Oh, okay. This is a cute little tree that comes from Australia. Mm -hmm. Called an Australia finger lime. And it's just flowering right now. Mm -hmm. These are persimmons. And what about this? This is different. Oh, it's yes. mandarin or something? Mandarin. Yeah, it's a type of mandarin. Okay. And you'll see that on the calendar. That's going to... Sometime soon. It's turning color. Yeah. Um, but they're not... What? Let, we'll have to look and see what the... It's almost ready. Mm -hmm. But they're just tiny, but super sweet. Mm -hmm. Very tasty little... Maybe we'll get some filberts. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Worth a try. Yep. Yeah, more nectarine. And the leaves are a traditional bay, but they're better than the ocean bay. This is California wild bay. I wonder if this is okay to, to put in adobo too. Absolutely. Oh, those are bay leaves. Bay leaves. But this is California bay leaves. It's probably different than what we're using. No, it's the same. No? It'd be it's great. Same. It's the same. It's um, You can dry it and you can uh, stay for a long it time. It has um, about twice the flavor of the typical bay leaf that you buy in the store, but mm. it's the identical flavor. It's the, that's your bay leaf. And then the other guy, Farmer Michael, has to Yeah, he helped leaf. us a lot last time. Uh huh. Yeah, because sometimes, like on Mother's Day last year, we were super busy. Yeah. So At was first, hard. we were scared. Fresh, fresh shopping. Fresh. Because that's really colorful. There you go. Yeah, that's really <laughs> And I just nice. pick organic vegetables <laughs> from Clover Farm. Organic. All right. Let's go organic. <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Mm -hmm.